Hey everybody, this is C5 Tor here. Uh, I thought I'd do a little review on a little device that uh, I picked up for strapping down my bikes. Uh, in this case I have two Altas, an Alta MX and an Alta MXR. And uh, I got kind of tired of the strap thing and doing the straps between the, the wheels of the other bikes and reaching over the bikes and that kind of stuff. So I saw these moto cinches um, that were on sale. Um, I think they were out of business for a while, but a new guy down in Texas bought the company and uh, he's promoting them again. They're a pretty cool little device. They actually hold down the, the bike uh, from the pegs rather than at the handlebars, so you aren't putting any pressure on the front forks. Uh, you put a little bit of pressure on, on the rear. Uh, which keeps it from bouncing, which I've had problems with uh, with standard straps. Hit a big bump and the back end goes down. I actually have a nice dent on both sides of my tailgate from that. So uh, I thought that would be a, a nice upgrade to, uh, to actually uh, install these devices, um, see if I could make them fit. I do have a pretty wide uh, ramp. It's a Black Widow 8-foot ramp and it's 18 inches wide when it folds up, but I have just enough room in um, the back of the bed to make that work. So uh, so it's a pretty slick little system once you get used to it. There's a few quirks to it. Um, as I said, um, they're, they're really solid. This one's locked in. I'll, I'll load the other one here in a second. Um, the first thing you do have to do when you get the device is put in some uh, brackets. I put four of them across here. Um, you also have the option to put track, it's L-Track or Logistics Track. Um, you just uh, slide it in and, and uh, it'll snap into place. These are single ones, this is track, you can get various links. Um, and so here's, here's what it looks like on the, uh, the actual device. So um, the, it's really well made, I really like it. It's pretty. Uh, grade um, aluminum. Uh, the pieces are really sturdy. The pin is very thick. It stays in place so it won't rattle loose. There's a retention strap. Uh, probably my least favorite part about the design. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute. It's also adjustable so um, for the taller bikes it goes up here. Uh, for the shorter bikes you use about half inch um, and as you go down. So my MX is a little shorter than my MXR, and I have that in the third one down. The, uh, the MXR I put down one, because uh, the pegs are fairly low on these bikes. But if you have a really tall bike, uh, you, can, you can leave it in the top one. Um, I also have another um, piece in my truck. This is a 2017 Tundra. I have a bed buddy from CCR Sport, which is really nice. It's got extra tie downs. It's got chocks um, The chocks don't quite line up with where the front tire would be when I put these in But if I turn it at an angle it actually braces against the wheel well and then braces against there You can kind of see it here. It's in at an angle and It's braced against the wheel wear there so it doesn't go anywhere and these also come with a a brake strap which will uh, lock, or lock down the front brake. It also helps bleed that front brake too I've found so as it rides all the little air bubbles tend to, to work their way up and you got a nice firm uh, brake when you get to where you're going. So back to this guy. So you clamp it in, wheel the bike up, put the, uh, the clamp over the uh, peg, pin it in so it doesn't come out, and then you work this cam, right, that shortens it up, and then uh, you put the strap over, and uh, at that point you should be good to go, it's not going anywhere, it's very sturdy like I said, uh, it's not going to bounce, so I don't have to strap in the back of the bike as well as the front, um, and just a sweet little setup, um, and I'll, a nice little uh, add-in is that I have a better view out the back of the truck. This whole area is empty, so there's no straps going across, no nothing. So pretty sweet. Um, they come on and off in, in a short amount of time. 
Um, as I said, the, the last step that's probably the, the trickiest is this retention strap so that the cam doesn't come loose. Um, there's, there's kind of various uh, geometries here. This, this swivels. Um, so it can make it harder or, or easier to put this on. I wish the strap was about one centimeter longer. That would probably make the whole thing. I usually tend to start the, the longer side first because it's sort of offset and then uh, put it on that side next. Um, it seems to work if you get it just right. Sometimes you have to wiggle it just a little bit to get the relationship right. So my only complaint so far, and if it gets too annoying, I'll, I'll probably drill out this rivet and uh, put a slightly longer strap in there with a little uh, screw because it does stick down a little bit. Um, my other problem was on the MXR. Uh, it's got kind of an odd shaped um, uh, peg and unfortunately the retention strap on um, on this side would have been to the, the front and it hits right here so, and you, you could make it work but what I ended up doing is um, these are designed to have these in the back but I just flipped it around to the other side and then I could go through this space. Um, I did end up putting some new pegs on, we'll try those out today, uh, but I think they should work okay. Um, it's just kind of the OCD in me that I want them all to face the same direction. They do come in pairs, so um, one left, one right, it doesn't really matter which is which, it just depends on whether you want the, the lever to go forwards or back, but again they can spin around, this thing spins and you can set it to the side. Um, you can do it one with one person. Um, when they're not locked down they still hold the bike upright so it won't, won't tip over so that's a nice feature. Um, if you want some more info on the installation and stuff there's a couple nice videos on uh, YouTube just look up Moto Cinch. Uh, two words Moto Cinch. It also comes with this nice bag to carry a pair. I bought two pair they're a little cheaper if you buy uh, more than one set um, so that's nice. Um, and then these, as I said, these snap in pretty easily. Um, once you get the, the hang of it, you got to get your um, got to get your fingers in the right spot because this also wiggles. But then you simply slide it in, let it snap in. It's not going anywhere. And all the all the uh, pressure on these is going to be straight up, so not a whole lot of side to side motion. Uh, on the bike, the pressure is going to be straight down on the pegs. Not really a lot of forward and back, especially with the strap up here and the chocks. Um, you can certainly make this work without bracing the front tire, but I like to have everything locked down pretty good. So um, once you put these in here, you can just uh, kind of lay them to the side. And I already have one of them in here. Um, it's all set up, ready to go. You can lean it in front, you can lean it towards the back. And the seam seems to be about the center line between those. If I wanted to do one bike, um, I can do that. There's just enough room. The tips of these pegs are about, oh, 20 inches apart. And that happens to be 21. So they can, they can go in or out or even like that if they need to. So you don't have to be super precise. But so far, I'm really liking them. They're uh, they're sturdy. They seem to hold the bikes. Uh, I'm not worried about straps giving way uh, or getting straps flat. Uh, my other concern was I always kind of wrapped them around here, and there's I'm not putting any pressure anymore on cables or other things up on the bars. I know you can put straps around here or get little hooks. Those are kind of hard to reach when you got multiple bikes in here at once. Um, and these kind of separate things out. The one thing I do give up is when when these are in like this, I don't have a lot of space right here. Uh, I used to be able to go under the bikes a lot easier. Uh, I really only have a center section here. I got lots of room up here, but uh, you have to put stuff in between if it's long. So let's uh, load another bike here and see how that works. I have the advantage here of having electric bikes. Oh, these are Alta red shifts. So that's a nice feature. They're really easy to load. Just turn it on, put it in map one, and just kind of cruise up. 
So like I said, I like to really put that front tire right along that front wheel well, and then right at the last part, cut, turn it a little bit into the wheel chalk, and then that front tire is not really gonna go anywhere. And then we pull up the pin, put it down. It's not coming out. It's not tightened up yet, um, but it's not gonna fall that way. And then on this side, you can kind of put some pressure on the bike. And then, oops, helps if I add it all the way on. All right, so that's not coming on. Um, and then the bike's not going anywhere, even though it's not tightened up yet. Um, I usually like to do that one first. Um, I could reach over the bike, but let's see if we can get a better view of it here. And hopefully that'll work. So I'm gonna pull up on that strap. You can pull over on the bike and you can put the strap on. I'll do that in a little bit. I do like my nice flush ramp. Makes it easy to get up and down. And then just pull that up. Again, this can kind of have a little play. Uh, and again, the hardest part is getting this part on. You kind of have to keep everything flat. Otherwise it doesn't like to fit. And all the guys in the videos do it one-handed. But if that's not going to come loose and that keeps the cam lever from coming down. And again, I have a uh, strap here that I can put around the brake. Tighten it up. That keeps the bike from going forward and back. Also, as I said, kind of tends to bleed the front brake. And that's about it. As I said, I have just enough room there to slide my ramp in. And uh, it's not really going to go side to side. These are, as I said, adjustable for different bikes. Um, there's a little bit of forward and backwards action. You can see these are slightly re to the rear, so it's pulling the bike forward. I did that on purpose. Um, if I had a different bike, it might not work quite as well. But as I said, you don't actually have to have the front tire um, secured. It's just kind of nice when things are going. As you can see here, I got plenty of room between the bikes. So um, that's it. That's how I've been loading my Alta Redshift MX and MXR. And I hope you like that review.